Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Komias Allah, Koholoyim La, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Hakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do real well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shachanan Nawaf is coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. So I wanted to touch on this article right here. This guy that you see right here on the screen. Now, going off into this because, you know, you had this situation with who they're calling Brick Lady. You know, the lady that got hit in the head or the face with the brick, you know, and she was standing around like, you know, like all these black guys are standing around and they're not helping me. And why are you letting this guy do this to me? What world are we living in? Is this how you're treating women now? And come to find out, you know, she was just a bug out on her end and didn't deserve the help to begin with because ain't no telling what she done to lead up to that shit but anyway this guy right here another example let's get the story real quick it says i tried to defend a woman being fat shamed by her boyfriend at an all-you-can-eat buffet but it went from bad to worse which the uh the title was kind of a little off but anyway i'll read through it again it's not that long it says a man was left stunned when he heard a girl being fat shamed at an all you can eat breakfast buffet so much that he tried to step in to help. JP is currently on holiday in Rome. Now, mind you, he's out of town. He's not even from this place, Rome, Italy, and explained that he had gone to get breakfast when another couple walked in. All right? You know, they had the, you know, the, the scene of the pastries. Who knows, man? I mean, yeah. if this is a true story, then this guy's out of his damn mind. It says the girl is very, very thin, whereas the bloke has got a little bit more meat to him. But an incredibly unexciting human to look at, whereas the girl was very pretty, he said in the video on his TikTok page. She glances over at the croissants and cream filled um, thingies. And the pastries on the breakfast table and goes, ooh, that looks good. And he looks at her and goes, you can't eat that. You're going to get fat. Raising his eyebrows in shock, JP said he could see the moment of disappointment on the girl's face, so decided to try and defend her. I look over at him and say, excuse me? What the fuck, <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> he recalled. <laughs> and he goes, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. I'm like, no, no. You didn't disturb me. But what did you just say? She can't have the croissants because what? <laughs> the motherfucker, without flinching, looks at me and goes, oh, yeah, you know she can't eat that because she has to watch her weight. JP then unleashes his epic comeback as he told the man, I said, sir, you want her to watch her, her weight while she, me, and everyone else who, who had the misfortune of looking at your ugly mug wants you to be better looking none of none of which is going to happen today i mean he's out here looking like the old fucking puppet trying to tell this young girl that she can't eat a fucking croissant <laughs> concluding and concluding his video slacky after revealing he wanted to hang the man from a third story window by his toes jp said here's a lesson princess fiona was a big girl a princess but a big girl nonetheless <laughs> You have your croissant, my babes. <laughs> People were quick to praise JP. See, here you go. Here you go with that. You see, this is that 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 woman's world shit. That queen of heaven shit, man. People were quick to praise JP for his actions in the comment section with one writing. I feel I sp I feel I speak for all the ladies. We love you. Thank you. I love you. Another one said, it says, um, I I love you. Thank you for saying something. Another added. It doesn't matter what the person's what a person's size. No one has the right to tell them what they can eat. If I want that lady, I would have this. This person says, if I was that lady, I would have hugged you on the spot. A third gushed. See, and then, you know, you go into the comment comments. It's kind of mixed. You got some people like yeah, you should have mind this fucking business. You got people that's just, you know, gushing over the guys. Well, you know, with this, you know, with their comments. So, you know. My thing is, is you're out of town. You willing to go? You willing to, you know, get beat up, go to jail, possibly in a whole nother city, a whole nother damn country 
for a woman that you don't even know over some shit that, that, that you know, I, I, you know, the guy wasn't putting his hands on her. And even if he was putting his hands on her, you should just call the police. Get assistance. Mind your damn business. You're going to get lumped up. Or possibly, you know what I'm saying? You hurting this guy to the point where you're going to jail, possibly being sued. You know, because other countries, they got a little different laws. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But let me just grab a couple of scriptures, because like I said, when it comes to stuff like this, you got to kind of, man, you just got to kind of just leave it alone, man. You got to just, you know, you got to you got to just let shit be, man. Over a damn croissant. Shit, man. I wouldn't have gave a damn. Hey, 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 hey that's his woman. Salakia. So Shit, a lot of men need to be telling their damn woman. You know what I'm Some of these 300, 400 pounders walking through Walmart. Hey, look, babe, you need to stay. You know, you need to just chill on that for a while. You know, you getting, you know, that's love. It may seem harsh. Oh, he's fat shaming me. He thinks I'm fat. Like, what well, shit? You know, when you, you know, when you gain weight like that, it can be, you know, um, unhealthy, man. I mean, shit, if somebody is telling you something that's unhealthy, I mean, you know, something that that can save you or to keep you from going through an unhealthy um, ordeal, then you should be taking that that advice as love. Nope, not here in the Americas, not not in this world, <laughs> not in this world. Hell no. Nah. He said what? You know, because Lizzo is the new glamour look shit. This is Proverbs 26 um, and 17. He that passes by and meddling with strife belonging not to him. Is like one that take up the dog by the ears. And we've been, you know, telling, you know, that, hey, the brother's been going in on this, man. Hey, look, when it comes down to women, men, children, whatever the fuck in the public, hey, leave that shit alone. You don't know the whole total situation on it. You know, hey, because people out here bugging the hell out, man. People out here bugging the hell out. I mean, you know, I'm not saying stand and be a damn statue in every situation you know it, it, it use wisdom though something like this right here i never would have said nothing to that guy i probably would have snickered and giggled at the shit you know what i'm saying i wouldn't have said nothing to this man. you telling a grown man you step into a grown man like what the fuck did you say got nothing to do with you that that, that you know that that could lead to anything man knives out gunfight Come on, bro. That's not wise right there, man. That's 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 not wise at all. And the reason why you get so much praise. Well, let me get this real quick. You get all that praise from these women because they think this this world is a fucking movie. And all these movies show some 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 fucking guy being Captain Save a hole running and, and trying to save some woman, man, that don't deserve it. <laughs> Seriously, man. These people out here think they living in a damn movie. Some damn enchantments, man. Um, Jeremiah 31 and 22, it says, How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. But see, men are starting to, to, to get to a point now where they just like, man, uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Hey, men don't care no more. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he has made it to the point where nobody cares about nobody now. And that and that goes up into that Matthew. Let's get that Matthew. Um, Twenty-four and twelve. This is one of the things that um, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, you know, spoke to the disciples about because they asked him what will be happening in the end days, you know, just before his coming. This is one of them. Matthew 24 and 12, it says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's what you're seeing out here. So that love of many is waxing cold. These people don't give a shit about you. You look, you you step into somebody these days, man, and, and, and they don't know you. Talking shit. Questioning them. Because people don't like to be corrected. They don't want no reproof. They don't want no discipline. They don't give a shit about no order. This place is is all out of order. It's completely chaotic, and it's not going to get any better until Yahweh Shai uh, uh, comes back, until nukes hit this place and the new kingdom is set up. All this shit that's going on that you see is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse as time goes on. It's not going to get no better. So you might as well chill. 
especially when it comes to complete strangers, man. You had to almost chill. It's people out here killing their own people. Matter of fact, you know what? Damn, I may not even have. Let me see. Let me go back. Let me go in here. Let me go back in here. I see. Ah, uh, Salakia. trying to sell me some shit. Uh, I may not even let me see if I got it in my history. No, I think it was another phone that I may have um, looked at it on. But anyway, another uh a young lady here. Little pretty little lady too. You know, little, you know. She ended up getting shot trying to break up a goddamn fight in a in a restaurant. That didn't have nothing to do with her. It wasn't her that was fighting. It, it was a whole nother set of people. And she tried to come on, bro. You gotta you gotta leave that shit alone. Whew, crazy man. A strange husband who rammed his wife with an SUV and stabbed her while their kids were. And the car pleads guilty, man. Look, people out here bugging the fuck out. Y'all better hey, leave these, these crazies, these crazies alone, man. I wanted to try and find that one story. They was talking about how she would help anybody and, you know, how basically her parents would have to tell her, you know, um, don't just stop and ask someone if they need help if you see them on the side of the road. Cause you know, they basically they were saying that's the type of person that she was, you know, that she was really helpful. But you can't, you gotta use wisdom out here, man. You can't help every goddamn body. But she was in a restaurant trying to break up a fight when she should have been minding her own damn business. If it was getting out of hand, hey, check please. Let me get my check. Let me go ahead and bounce. Because, uh, you know, I can, you know, I can tell these that this shit is about to get out of hand. But you got people that sit around, man, and they want to film every damn thing. They want to record every damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Got to break out the phone. I need this for my Instagram. I need this. You know, this is going to be great footage. I'm going to go viral. TMZ going to pay me for the footage. You see? You go. You got a, a, a 2,500 reward offer for helping find a 12-year-old girl missing from Detroit East. And this girl been missing for a minute. 12 years old. But she guess what? She stepped out of the house on her own. So she was out. She was going somewhere to be um, um naughty. Now they can't find her ass. And she probably somewhere uh, uh chilled out with some old ass dude knocking her down. I don't even know. I mean, come on, bro. Or they done somebody done sold her ass into, into that trafficking ring. I'm telling you, man, this place is getting crazy as hell, man. This this cop right here, Maryland officer suspended after video shows him getting into the back seat of a patrol vehicle with woman. And of course, his wife is, you know, oh, she's so distraught. I seen the video too. He all kissing on her and shit. She goes to the back and opens the back of the door and they slides right on off in there. So that lets you know where your taxpayers' money is going. Anyway, I was trying to find this this one story with this young lady. But anyway, you know, people bugging out out here, man. You got to be real careful out here these days. It's a lot of shit going on, man. Man. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. And it was right at the top of the thing, too. Right at the top of the list, but anyway, I mean, you get the point. I mean, you know, hey, we gotta, hey, why, why, watch you, hey, man, watch yourself out here. You see a woman getting her ass whooped. It, it's best if you want to help, call nine one one four. Make a quick call. You feeling that type of way, but you stepping in, uh uh, uh uh, don't do it. Like this girl right here, you remember um, what? Uh, about a month or so back, this chick right here, Carly Russell, ex-boyfriend says they had a little argument before she went with missing, but nothing. Basically, uh, he's saying, um, but nothing to kidnap yourself over. This chick had everybody out here thinking that she was fucking kidnapped, bro.
So watch yourself, man, because 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 hey, I mean the dudes too, but women are getting really goddamn weird, man. Yeah, they're not showing that story. I could have, you know, Googled it or whatever, but it is not necessary. But it's a lot of, like, hey, when you scroll through the news and you see the type of shit going on these days, man, people out here bugging the hell out, man. They really are. They bugging out. They losing it, man. And you ain't seen nothing yet because things are getting harder. Things are getting more, you know, out of control, man. People are, are losing hope. They have, matter of fact, they've lost hope. So when people lose hope, man, you know, anything can happen, man. <laughs> McDonald's customer says uh, it sold them lab grown meat and chicken sandwich. Who knows? Probably. Uh, who knows? That's why we tell you, hey, don't even hey, fuck them. Fuck them down restaurants, too, man. Go ahead and and pray to y'all about Shimmy Abishai where to go and get your food from and go shop, man. Do the best that you can. You know what I'm saying? Go shop. Get the, the freshest ingredients that you can possibly get and come to your house and cook food, man. Fuck going out to these expensive ass restaurants. You sitting there one sitting twenty five dollars. That don't even make no sense, man. Twenty five dollars. It don't get you a whole lot in the grocery stores, but it gets you a whole lot more than just sitting there with one sitting shit. Grab you a couple of canned goods, <laughs> you know, some damn potato, whatever. Bag of potatoes, some onions. You know, a whole chicken or something. You gotta get, you gotta get wise, man, out here. You get you a big ass turkey, you know, and bust that bitch down, man, <laughs> and 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 make dinners out of it with, with sandwiches. You know, hey man, you gotta get, you gotta get, gotta get, gotta use some wisdom out here, man. Well, I seen this yesterday too. Thirteen year old threatens to stab her family. After inappropriate posters were taken from her bedroom walls and they took some drugs out of her room. She was mad about her dope and her posters and went and stabbed her dad. You know, about to stab her damn grandma. Damn, yeah, I'm telling you, man. Through. Yeah, I'm just kind of scrolling through the spirit, but you know, I'm going to end on out, man. I wanted to uh, really grab that one with the young lady because she was a nice looking young lady too but hey you trying to help you can't help every damn body you you gotta mind your business when you see shit about to get out of hand up oh, that's my cue that's my cue i'm out check please here you go at a whole another person's table come on bro people don't like that man Because they'll turn that anger from the person that they're angry with right on to your ass, man. And that's why, you know, that scripture goes off into, um, matter of fact, let me get it real quick. I mean, it, you know, it's not exactly going with it, but, you know, it kind of reminds me of, of this. Um, let me see here. I was worried. Uh, what is that? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Matthew seven and six. It says, "Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you." <laughs> so you're, you know, even with your niceness, man, you know, you're you're trying to help. You're trying to help complete strangers, and you don't know them. You you don't even know how to um. You know, to you don't know if they got a goddamn mental problem. You don't know if they, you know, they have a, a real um, anger because people people have them anger spirits on them, man. Some people, you know, the scriptures talks about anger, man. And when some people get riled up, it's just like they fucking they 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 they. It's like goddamn Bruce Banner, man, and 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 the Hulk, man. You had to calm this motherfucker down to get him back down to size. You know what I'm saying? His pants all ripped. <laughs> he ain't got on no shirt. <laughs> hey man, you just never know how some people are, man. Straight up, man. Well, let me get that again. And this goes this, but this is really going off into the scriptures. This is really going off into this truth. You know, trying to tell somebody about it, man, and, and they just not getting it. You, you know, you, you, you can, you can, you can see they're complete fucking demons. They're not gonna accept it. And you might as well just chill on it. You can't force this truth on nobody. 
Because you can see people get super angry, man. They be ready to scrap scrap it out. You know, hey, and it be so many brothers that sometimes be on the line, you know, at camp that, you know, <laughs> I get, you know, but overall it's protection from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But, man, hey, the, the brothers, man, they, they be ready to, you know, get down if it's, it's some get down because the brothers be protecting each other. That's our, that's our, um, you know, what we're supposed to do. Out of love, man, for the brother, you're supposed to be watching. When you're at camp, you're supposed to be looking all around, man. When you go off into um um what's that uh the Ephesians? Let's get that Ephesians five and fifteen. It says, "See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil." You're supposed to be um circumspect. You're supposed to be looking around spiritually, but physically as well supposed to be looking around and checking your surroundings when we're out at camp man looking around like you know checking uh, this guy looking kind of you know who's this guy you know what i'm saying you know you don't let nobody come up from behind you no shit like that actually you want to position yourself you know in a, a, you know in, in a spot where your back so somewhat is against the wall so so no one is actually walking up on you from the behind you can see everybody from your sides and your front but anyway, you know, like I said, man, people out here bugging the hell out, man. Uh, we're living in the last days. It's high time to awake out of sleep. Nothing is going to get better until Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is taken out of power. And you're about to see some even more crazier shit. Going into that second address, chapter 15. Because neighbor is about to be against neighbor, man. They already, you know, don't, you know, neighbors don't, you know, I speak to my neighbors. But now, am I close enough to my neighbors where if something happened at my house, say, for instance, you know, God forbid I had a, you know, a house fire or the house flooded or something happened where I could, you know, I needed a place to stay. I, I, I you know, I might be able to go over to my neighbor and, and say, you know, uh, you know, let me chill, you know, with you for a night or two. But do I feel comfortable doing that? No, I don't. You know, I don't feel that close to him. It's not what it used to be. Neighborly love is not what it used to be, man. Because we come from a culture of actually waiting to see if people was kind of coming through town to ask them, hey, come to my house. You know, you know, we was good. Um, we had great hospitality. You know, come to my house and wash your feet. I'm going to make you something to eat. We have, a, um, you know, a, 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 you know, um, a bed situation or a room set up back over here. You know what I'm saying? Please stay. Our people was begging people to stay. Please stay. It's night. You get up in the morning. You know, we'll you know, we can make some food, whatever you go, you know, give you some provisions and you going about your way. That's the way we was, man. But now, yeah. now, you know, we can get that amongst the brotherhood. But, you know, a lot of the times we don't be knowing who the brotherhood is like that, you know, because the brotherhood is kind of scarce. Now, you know, if you're in a camp, you know, it's some larger camps where, you know, you can get up with the brother and like, hey, look, man, I need a spot. I need a place, you know, and brother's going to look out. I need something to eat, brother. I need this. I need that. Brother's going to look out out of, um, you know, the um, the love of you. How about Shimei was shy? Because he said to love the brethren, man. We're to help each other out. We're one body. But these carnal motherfuckers, these, 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 these worldly, man, look, man. They don't want to help their initial family members. You know, so. Hey, like I said again, man, you're living in some very harsh days. These the days are evil. You have to be very, very careful out here, man. You get out here, man, and these people they driving. It's school done started back. Everybody fucking aggravated. The kids are screaming in the morning. You know, damn mama trying to get them dressed, trying to get them to eat, trying to get them to got them hair done, trying to do all these different things. Did you brush your teeth? Did you get your shoes on the wrong feet? All this. Just aggravated as hell. Now they out here on the road, just complete road rage. So, I mean, man, they, uh, throughout the whole entire day, it's just, it's only a certain, you know, little spurt in the day where it's just like this one window where you can just go and do shit while it's calm. And find that hour, find that, <laughs> that window where you can go out here and do your, your business while it's calm and then get on back home before these idiots get back out here, man. But with that, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Come here, Shalom.